क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड थ्योरी वी आर इन चैप्टर नंबर 2 इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिराइव्ड द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू इनफाइनाइट यूनिफॉर्म लाइन चार्ज व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बेस्ड ऑन टू दैट कांसेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टू न्यूमेरिकल स्टेटमेंट्स Infinite uniform line charges of five nanocoulomb per meter are along the positive and negative x and y axis in free space. Find capital E bar at point P A and point P B. To read the problem statement, what information we get? So, infinite uniform line charges are there for which we have just now. solved some expression and we have got the formula how to find electric field intensity so in the same problem we are asked to find electric field intensity we can use that particular formula now how many such infinite uniform line charges are there so here infinite uniform line charges of 5 nanocoulomb per meter that means it is the value of rho l line charge density is given to us and they are along positive and negative of capital x and y axis so it means there are total two infinite and uniform line charges and because of these two sources of electric field we have to calculate electric field intensity at point p a and then at point p b so to get the situation to get the picture clear to our mind first of all we will draw the diagram if the diagram is correct we will be having the same uh, we will be having the right answer so as there are two charges we first of all draw the two lines of x and y so the rectangular coordinate system structure the z axis y axis and x axis that are mutually perpendicular to each other that we have taken so this is the x axis positive direction y axis positive direction z axis positive direction the negative sides also we draw this is negative side of the z this is negative side of the y and this is negative side of the x so positive and negative both the sides go up to the infinity so now here as per the statement there are two infinite uniform line charges along positive and negative of x and y axis and they have rho l is equal to 5 nanocoulomb per meter so i consider the x axis from here to here to have let us say rho l1 is equal to 5 nanocoulomb per meter i consider from minus infinity to plus infinity for the y axis this axis also to have rho l2 equal to 5 nanocoulomb per meter so nanocoulomb is 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb per meter here also it will be the same 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb per meter now the line charges these are the sources here now where we have to calculate electric field intensity first of all electric field intensity in the part a at point pa so point pa he is given the coordinates 0, 0, so let us plot this point. So 0, 0, so x is equal to 0, small y is equal to 0, and z is equal to 4. So x equal to 0. So on x-axis we are here at the origin. On the y-axis also here we are at the origin itself, and z is equal to 4. So we have to lift by 4 units: 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is the location of point P A. now what is the required thing to determine the electric field intensity at point pa due to these line charges we have to use the formula e bar is equal to rho l upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho kya so as per the given problem statement we have the values of rho l1 and rho l2 so rho l value we have 2 pi epsilon 0 these are the constants these also we have now rho is the perpendicular distance from the field point on to the line charge 
so that we have to take into consideration and a rho cap is the radially outward direction on that particular perpendicular segment so pa is having the coordinates 0 comma 0 comma 4 we have to check when we are finding electric field intensity due to first line charge that is let us say on x axis we have to drop a perpendicular so that perpendicular will be dropped and will be intersecting x axis in the origin okay so we have to take how much length that particular perpendicular segment has acquired so this point is on z axis so it has four units of length similarly if we are going to determine electric field intensity due to line charge on y axis we have to drop a perpendicular from point pa onto the y axis that particular perpendicular segment also takes four units of length the perpendicular segment both to the x axis and y axis is same having four units so for that purpose we first of all write the vector rho a rho cap so rho a rho cap will be rho a rho cap it will be 4 a z cap a z cap direction we have taken because point p a is in the upward half okay so this is the positive z direction hence we take 4 a z cap as rho a rho cap now rho will be equal to 4 here magnitude and a rho cap is equal to a z cap so now electric field intensity at point p a due to the line charge along positive and negative side of x axis that is given by let us say e1 bar it will be rho l1 upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap so here we make the substitutions rho l1 is given as phi u into 10 raised to the power minus 9 upon 2 pi epsilon 0 value we use that is 10 raised to power minus 9 upon 36 pi rho we have just now taken to be equal to 4 a rho cap is nothing but a z cap so here we make the uh, simplifications so 2 pi will get cancelled with this one so there will be 18 into the numerator into phi u 10 raised to power minus 9 minus 9 also gets cancelled 18 into phi u upon 4 a z cap so this will be equal to 90 by 4 a z cap similarly we are going to have the electric field intensity due to the second line charge along y axis at the same point p a so it will be denoted by e2 bar equal to rho l2 upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap so it will be also the same as both the magnitudes of line charge densities are same phi u into 10 raised to power minus 9 upon 2 pi into 10 raised to power minus 9 upon 36 pi into 4 this will be a z cap so this is also going to give us 90 by 4 a z cap now the net now the net electric field intensity at point p a due to both the line charges will be the sum of e1 bar and e2 bar so it will be 90 by 4 a z cap plus 90 by 4 a z cap which is equal to 45 a z cap so now for the first part of the problem statement find e bar at point p a we have got the answer that answer is e bar is equal to 45 az cap the unit of electric field intensity is holds per meter so this is the solution for part a so now let us focus on to finding electric field intensity at point pb given the coordinates 0 3 4 so for this portion also we will draw the diagram so in the diagram we again take the help of xyz axis as per the given situation let us say this is z axis this is y axis and this one is x axis that are mutually perpendicular to each other y this is minus x this is plus z positive y negative y 
this is positive x this is negative z so in the given numerical statement along the positive and negative x axis we have line charge we have denoted hoyle 1 it is 5 nano coulomb per meter along positive and negative y axis there is another line charge we have denoted hoyle 2 is equal to again the same value 5 nano coulomb per meter now we have to calculate the electric field intensity at pb so that pb is given the coordinates 0 comma 3 comma 4 so let us plot pb in this diagram this is our origin so 0 units on x axis we are at origin 3 units on y axis 1 2 and 3 we are here and 4 units onto the z axis hence we have to lift this point by 4 units so in the space here it is the location of point pb and these are the line charges the line charges i show you with a different color so second line charge along y axis and the first line charge onto the x axis let us say this color so these are the two line charges and the field point pb at this position so for determining electric field intensity at pb we again use the same formula e bar is equal to rho l upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap so we have these values we have to find rho and a rho cap so the vector rho a rho cap is a perpendicular vector from the point of intersection onto the line charge to that of the point pb so finding e1 bar for electric field intensity at pb due to the line charge on x axis okay and finding e2 bar that is electric field intensity at point pb because of the line charge along y axis so for e1 bar we write the formula e1 bar will be equal to rho l1 upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho 1 a rho 1 cap and for e2 bar we will write rho l2 upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho 2 a rho 2 cap i have mentioned rho 1 rho 2 a rho 1 a rho 2 here because in the part a both the perpendiculars on x and y axis were the same segment here the perpendiculars may be the different ones for the point pb that is why i have mentioned rho 1 and rho 2 here so let us judge what is rho 1 segment and what is rho 2 segment so from point pb we will drop a perpendicular onto the x axis okay so now the coordinates of point pb are 0 3 and 4 and the coordinates of x axis are the coordinates of x axis are x value y equal to 0 z equal to 0 so if we have to draw a perpendicular see pb is at 0 so it will be at x is equal to 0 so x equal to 0 and these two coordinates also 0 so it will be dropped in the three dimensional space onto the origin this will be the perpendicular onto the x axis though it look like this okay it will be cutting at the origin so this perpendicular segment length we have to calculate so let us take out this triangle outside this diagram so this triangle will be like this this side is 3 units on y axis this side is 4 units in the height that is along z axis so this will be under root 3 square plus 4 square and the vector will be so i write the vector this way so let us say rho 1 a rho 1 cap it will be 3 ax cap plus 4 sorry 3 ay cap 3 units on y axis and 4 az cap okay the magnitude rho 1 is equal to under root 3 square will be 9 4 square will be 16 so this will be 9 plus 16 under root 25 that is 5 so rho 1 is equal to 5 now a rho 1 cap a rho 1 cap is the unit vector 
so it is vector divided by the magnitude so 3 ay cap plus 4 az cap upon 5 so hence e1 bar will be equal to rho l1 that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 2 pi into epsilon 0 is 10 to the power minus 9 upon 36 pi into rho 1 rho 1 is phi u and the unit vector is 3 a y cap plus 4 a z cap upon phi so here we get 2 pi cancel with this so 18 will be in the numerator 18 into phi u 10 to the power minus 9 10 to the power minus 9 get cancelled okay. in the denominator we have phi u into phi u 25 u and this unit vector 3 a y cap plus 4 a z cap so here we get this will be phi u 18 upon phi u 3 a y cap plus 4 a z cap holds per meter for e1 bar similarly for e2 bar so for e2 bar we have perpendicular drop from point pb onto the y axis so pb is having the coordinates 0 3 and 4 y axis is having the coordinates 0 units on x y and 0 units on z axis so pb has y equal to 3 so the perpendicular will be on y equal to 3 so this is the perpendicular segment which we have already used in this particular triangle so this perpendicular segment is having four units so it will be having the length 4 now what is the direction from the line charge along y axis we have to take outward direction that will be az cap hence for e2 bar we have rho 2 a rho 2 cap is equal to 4 az cap rho 2 is equal to 4 units therefore e2 bar is equal to the line charge density phi u into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 2 pi into again epsilon 0 value 10 to the power minus 9 upon 36 pi into 4 into 4 az cap upon 4 okay so simply it will be 10 to the power minus 9 cancelled this will be 18 to the numerator 18 into phi u upon 4 into 4 az cap e2 bar so finally the electric field intensity at point pb at point pb because of both the line charges along x and y taking their positive and negative sides is obtained as by the sum of e1 and e bar e1 uh, bar and e2 bar it will be e bar is equal to 10.8 a y cap plus 36.9 a z cap holds per meter so this is the required answer for part b so we are finished with the problem one for electric field intensity of a line charge thank you